a perfect night in New York. Welcome to Yankee Stadium and baseball night. And a point of these offensive statistics, it has been a real grind for them. And Alvarez, this lineup now is deep again. We already talked about the pitching and how now Tucker two and three. Then Alex Bregman, who's gotten it going lately. Jordan Alvarez also back from the guys. I don't know how much better he can be has gone on yeah absolutely he's gotten better he's gonna throw a lot of sinkers and cutters he's got a slide Jose Altuve to lead things off and off and Jose Altuve's hot start off of the injured list continue to have a hard time throwing this man <laughs> anything first pitch for a strike World Series MVP a year ago before that he was the ALCS and much and he'll learn to cut that down he'll make adjustments right now the pitchers are Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch, yeah. throws Bunt, and Bunt's through it, one ball, two strikes this year. That's outside, and it's 2-2. Two and two. That's a hard cutter version. On this 2-2, two -two, he barely to the backstop, but he's going to reach. Look at the replay here. Watch where this pitch is. I mean, that is in the left-hander's yeah, chasing way down and away on that pitch. Here's Kyle Tucker taking ball one. He has been tough on pitchers. The ball one strike with what Alvarez has done the last couple of years. But Kyle Tucker is steady and as well rounded as any. On this one two from Schmidt, Tucker. And he's got it. You know, two and two away. Defensively, been a revolving door in left field. McKinney's out there today. On the infield today, Isaiah Catiz way back at the end of May as Bregman takes a strike. On this 0 1 pitch, takes out shot. He might be one of the most stubborn, in a good way, hitters of him. One of those rare guys that walks out or walks more than he strikes out. Road in his eighth season on a 2 1 pitch, fouls it off, and it's 2 and 2. You know, I don't know about the lead. Pretty good stat. Count goes full. Only two left handers that he'll see in this Astros line. Strike three to the inside corner. Pitch backed up on him a little bit, but it found six no hit innings, and the Astros had obviously finished that off. This year. So for him to be effective, he's got what's called the invisible ball. The hitters will always. His 0 1 to Bowers is fouled back in its 0 and 2. I mean, he, he really broke him in, in the year coming off of it. Just there have been stretches where he hasn't looked quite right. And you're talking about that in. He's at the track with. And, and has reached him more than half his plate appearances so far. How he ever sees a strike is beyond ninth, but I agree with you. The Yankees are going to have to prove, uh, uh, find a way. Fouls this one back, and it's one and two. Still a lot of pain with that. Well, the downside is, besides the obvious of his toe, is now as far as speed goes. Yeah, during his MVP season left. He takes the walk. Uh, nine pitches and in there. Labor Torres. There's out. I mean, if 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 they didn't know he was hurt in their lineup, so that's the impact, the trickle down effect that he had. There's the one-one pitch. Torres takes outside because yeah, they've had injuries, not just Judge. One and a two-one from Christian Javier. Swing and a miss. Two and two. And you can kind of understand that in their park. Not. Here's a two-two. Count goes full. There are three games back in the last while. Two out. If you went offense for offense against Boston. Rays 7-2. And when Judge went down, you immediately looked at Stanton and said. Two. Whenever your star player goes down, everybody goes, all right, let's pick it up, boys. But you do. On this 2-0, Stanton swings and misses. You know, in years past, very streaky. Here's 2-1. Ball three. Yeah, I'm amazed at some of the ways they try to pull count. Denton hits it out. It's usually that many like he has. You're not wrong too often. Yeah. Jose Altuve to lead things off and off. And Jose Altuve's hot start off of the injured list continued to have a hard time throwing this man. <laughs> Anything first pitch for a strike. World Series MVP a year ago. Before that, he was the ALCS and much. And he'll learn to cut that down. He'll make adjustments. Right now, the pitchers are. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Yeah. Shows Bunt, and Bunt's through it. One ball, two strikes this year. That's outside, and it's 2 and 2. 
It's a hard cutter version. On this 2-2, he barely to the backstop, but he's going to reach. Look at the replay here. Watch where this pitch is. I mean, that is in the left-handers. Yeah, chasing way down and away on that pitch. Here's Kyle Tucker taking ball one. He has been tough on pitchers. A ball one strike with what Alvarez has done the last couple of years. But Kyle Tucker is steady and as well-rounded as any. On this one, two from Schmidt, Tucker. And he's got it. Well, two, two away. Defensively, been a revolving door in left field. McKinney's out there today. On the infield today, Isaiah Catiz way back at the end of May as Bregman takes a strike. On this 0 1 pitch, takes out shot. He might be one of the most stubborn, in a good way, hitters of him. One of those rare guys that walks out or walks more than he strikes out. Road in his eighth season on a 2 1 pitch, fouls it off, and it's 2 and 2. You know, I don't know about the league, pretty good stat. Count goes full. Only two left handers that he'll see in this Astros line. Strike three to the inside corner. Pitch backed up on him a little bit, but it found six no hit innings, and in the Astros had obviously finished that off. This year. So for him to be effective, he's got what's called the invisible. The hitters will always. His 0 1 to Bowers is fouled back, and it's 0 and 2. I mean, he, he really broke in the. In the year coming off of it, just there have been stretches where he hasn't looked quite right. And you're talking about that. He's at the track with. And has reached him more than half his plate appearances so far. How he ever sees a strike is beyond ninth, but I agree with you. The Yankees are going to have to prove uh, uh, find a way. Fouls this one back, and it's one and two. Still a lot of pain with that. Well, the downside is, besides the obvious of his toe, is not as far as speed goes. Yeah, during his MVP season left. He takes the walk. Uh, nine pitches and in there. Labor Torres. There's out. I mean, if, if if they didn't know he was hurt in their lineup. So that's the impact, the trickle down effect that he had. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Torres takes outside because, yeah, they've had injuries, not just Judge. 1 and a 2 1 from Christian Javier. Swing and a miss, 2 and 2. And you can kind of understand that in their park. Not Here's a 2 2. Count goes full. They're three games back in the last while. If you went offense for offense against Boston, raised 7 2. And when Judge went down, you immediately looked at Stanton and said, too. Whenever your star player goes down, everybody goes, all right, let's pick it up, boys. But you do. On this 2 0, Stanton swings and misses. You know, in years past, very streaky. Here's 2 1. Ball three. Yeah, I'm amazed at some of the ways they try to pick. Full count. Stanton hits it out. It's usually that many like he has. You're not wrong too often. Yeah.